Rhymestone, two damn phones, Babylon can't crack the code. Used to sip out, stop real pump, but figured I should stick to the drum. Well, first, uh, you want to download and install Python, uh, preferably version 3.6.6. You're going to save it to your downloads and then run it whenever it's done. Since I've already installed Python, I just went ahead and pretended like I reinstalled it. Close the setup. Now you want to download uh, Git Bash for Windows. You're going to save that to your downloads, run the installer, go through the uh, the old rigmarole, and once it's done you can close out of it. Um, you shouldn't have to restart your computer at all after this. Just leave all the settings as default. And then uh, let the install play out. Go ahead and close that. Alright, now you want to go to discordapp.com. And if you're not already logged in, then you want to log in. And you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. Developers, applications, create a new application. You can call it whatever you want. They've recently changed this uh, application UI. So you're going to name your application, give it a description, and then go over to the left, click on bot, add bot, yes. And uh, that's going to give you your token. You're going to copy the token and save it somewhere safe for later. I just went ahead and uh, called it test bot token. doesn't really matter where you save it as long as you remember where it is. Now this next step is optional. It's for people who want uh, Spotify integration with their bot. You, uh, you're just going to go to Spotify, sign in if you're not already signed in. And it's basically the same thing. Go to the bottom, click on developers. And uh, once you're there, then you can... Yep. Integration. And then you're going to create an app. You can say I already have one created. Name it. Give it a description. Um, you're just going to go ahead and check Mark Desktop App. I, I checked Mark Voice App as well. Next. No, it's not commercial. And then check all those and submit. And then you're going to want to copy your client ID as well as your client secret and save those somewhere as well um, would be a good idea to save them with your bot token just to keep everything in the same place and then uh, once you have that I went ahead and uh, created a folder just to keep my current music bot separate from my test one. Opened up a, a git bash in that folder. And uh, I searched up the, um, the github, the repo, and then you, you want to copy this. Go back to your, uh, your bash, and then git clone and then paste that URL and it should go ahead and uh, do everything for you it's just gonna clone the, the music bot folder and all its contents now keep in mind that I sped this up so it, it's not gonna be as fast as for you you wanna enable developer mode in your discord client so that you can copy IDs for text channels and voice channels. And uh, you need to copy the ID of a, a text channel that you want your bot to listen to or listen in for commands. And then you're also going to want to do this the exact same thing for a voice channel. 
and this is optional but uh, if you want your bot to automatically connect to a specific voice channel then I would go ahead and do this just copy the ID of a voice channel save it somewhere if you don't want to do this you can always use the summon command and it will uh, connect your bot to the same channel that you're in and once you have all that information you're gonna to go to your music bot folder config and you're going to want to edit the example options.ini file. Now you want to set your bot token. And uh, if you set up a Spotify app, then you want to go ahead and copy and paste your client ID and client secret into the correct spots. You can edit your command prefix if you have to or want to you might have to if you have other bots in your server and now in the bind to channels area you want to put the uh, the ID of the text channel that you copied earlier and then for auto join channels you want to paste the ID of the voice channel and this is just miscellaneous configuration you can go through this file and set and unset anything that you want set a status message and all that other stuff and after you're done you gotta make sure that you uh, save this as options.ini in the same folder as example options.ini and now if you need to you can check your python version using uh, either one of those commands you want to update your bot first thing or I like to first thing before you run it uh, run git bash as administrator and you want to navigate to your music bot folder wherever it is and make sure you put it in quotes and after that you're going to use the uh, the following command it's on your screen or either one of those you can use the uh, the first one the long way I just like to make sure or you can use the second version the update dot bat and yes, you do want to uh, put the period. It's period forward slash update dot bat. Or B-A-T. And you run it and let it play out until it's done. I sped this up as well. After that, you want to run your bot. And now the first time you run your bot, it should give you a link that you can copy and paste into your browser. And if you have the necessary permissions um, within a Discord server, you should be able to add that bot to whatever Discord server that you have those permissions in. Um, if not, then you won't be able to add your bot to that server. And that's just a security measure to make sure you can't just go around adding your music bot to whoever Discord server you want. Now this is me uh, testing out the bot. You can change the volume. I went ahead and uh, turned up my volume so you guys could hear it better. cut here and now you can use the uh, the list IDs command to get IDs for all the roles channels users inside of a, a server it'll give it to you as a text file it'll send it to you in a private message you can download that file you can and then you use those IDs for like further configuration so whenever you go to set up your permissions if you want to um, Actually, you have to um, you have to go ahead and open up example uh, example permissions and save it as permissions.ini. Um, but whenever you want to go into like um, like just deeper configuration, you're just diving in, <laughs> going more in depth and everything. 
uh, you want to make sure that you get those IDs. And the bot does have to be connected to the server for that command to work, obviously. Now here's just, this is some uh, miscellaneous configuration that I did. Um, not really sure of the specifics, but uh, this is basically the end of the video. But you can keep on watching if you want. I do some stuff that uh, some of you might want to know how to do. But I, I didn't bother to explain it. And the reason why is because throughout these files, the example permissions.ini and the example options.ini, there's comments throughout the files telling you exactly what everything means, what, a, what everything does, um, the syntax for how to set up everything. The only thing you want to be uh, you want to make sure of is after you edit any of these files in the the config folder, you want to restart your bot, either with uh, the restart command in the Discord, or you can do it manually by like closing the git bash and reopening it, and running the run command again. Here's me restarting the bot. A lot of issues with the bot can be solved by uh, simply restarting. And as you can see, since uh, persistent queue is enabled, after I restarted the bot, it connected and immediately started playing the last song that it was queued up. Which is pretty nifty. It's a lot different from a TeamSpeak bot. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this or you learned anything new, um, rate the video or subscribe even.